Renaissance period The Renaissance began in Italy, in Florence. This period, spanning the 15th and 17th centuries, saw the rise of the spirit of humanism and a fresh approach to the classical Greek and Roman past. During this period, artists formerly seen as skilled craftsmen were for the first time elevated to the status of superior individuals and praised for their creative abilities. Although the church continued to have a major influence on society and remained a major patron of the arts, increased secular interests resulted in the growing patronage of wealthy aristocrats who wanted scenes inspired by classical antiquity. By imitating classical art, the artists perfected the visual language that treats the human image as the supreme value. Nature, human anatomy and the rules of perspective were studied in great detail by Renaissance artists. Where the figures used to seem to float on an unrealistic background, they are now drawn with a real sense of weight and place. The 15th century is known as the classical Renaissance. During this period, artists such as Masaccio, Filippo Brunelleschi, Donatello and Sandro Botticelli pioneered the Renaissance in Florence. Piero della Francesca and Andrea Montegna were artists who pioneered the Renaissance in other cities of Italy during the same period. The High Renaissance, early 16th century, includes works by Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael Sanzio, and Michelangelo Buonarroti in Florence, by Titian, Paolo Veronese and Tintoretto in Venice, and by Albrecht Dürer in Germany. The Mannerism style, around 1520-1600, which embraces exaggeration and perspective distortion in figure and stance, constitutes the last stage of the High Renaissance. The precursor to the Renaissance were the works of the Florentine Giotto, the painter of the early 14th century, and a handful of exceptionally creative artists emerged here in Florence in the early 15th century. These include Masaccio in art, Donatello in sculpture, and Brunelleschi in architecture. At the same time, the humanist thinker, artist and writer Leon Baptista Alberti penned many new art theories in his treatises on painting, sculpture and architecture. Approaches such as making the subject of the painting real world with the illusion of three dimensions created with perspective soon spread all over Italy and many new centers of patronage were formed. Plain, religious medieval art paintings with a golden background, basic colors, unreal compositions were now discredited. Venetian painters Jacopo Bellini and Giorgione 15. They became the leading Renaissance artists of the 20th century, and the city's tradition of artistic splendor continued during the High Renaissance, with works by Titian, Veronese, Tintoretto, and architect Andrea Palladio. In the 16th century, Rome became the center of innovation and became the capital of the High Renaissance. The creative work of Italian artists was supported throughout the Renaissance by the patronage of prominent, wealthy families such as the Sforza in Milan and the Medici family in Florence. Also too. Popes such as Julius and Leo X were also among those who patronized the artists. In Northern Europe, the spirit of the Renaissance is seen in the works of the Dutch painter Jan van Eyck in the early 15th century. Later, the German artist Dürer, who toured Europe and brought many Renaissance ideas from Italy, became a leading figure in the Northern Renaissance. Italian artists Cellini, Rosso Fiorentino and Primaticcio brought the Renaissance to France and influenced the development of the Fontainebleau school. Although the young Hans Holbein brought Renaissance art to some extent to England in the 16th century, England's influence from the Renaissance took place in the 17th century.